Project 1, the bench hook. This exercise will introduce you to the fundamental skills of sawing and planing. First we'll make the stops. Start by planing an end smooth and square using the shooting board and low angle jack plane. Now you can measure from that square end and carefully mark a square line all round. Then use a bench hook and tenon saw to cut the stop about one millimetre oversize. Then it's back to the shooting board to plane that end square. Always check your work as you go. The next step is to clean up the faces and edges of your stop using a smoothing plane. I'll show you how to set up a smoothing plane for a really fine cut when you come to the workshops. Two or three strokes should be all you need to achieve a perfect finish. Now we move on to the block plane, which we'll use to chamfer the stop. Count the number of strokes on each edge. This will help you to keep your chamfers even. Notice the technique for chamfering end grain without spelching or breaking the grain. We'll work through these techniques when you come to the workshops. Finally, mark the face side and face edge, and then repeat all of these processes for the second stop. Next, you're going to make the board of your bench hook. Unlike the stops, your raw material here is rough sawn timber, which you'll need to flatten and dimension. After you've secured your timber in a panel board, take a jack plane and set it up for a heavy cut. I'll show you how to do this in the workshops. Work across the grain at first and take off any high spots. It usually helps to work diagonally as you see here. Check your work with winding sticks. These emphasise any twist in the wood. When the top edges appear to be parallel, your board is out of twist. Reduce the cut on your jack plane and finish with a series of fine overlapping cuts along the grain. You can check for flatness as you work with the corner of your plane. Take the timber out of the planing board and secure it in the vise. Plane the face edge. Check with a square and adjust as necessary. Then place the timber in the shooting board with the face side down and the face edge against the stop. Shoot one end square. Mark your face side, face edge and face end as shown. Use a combination square and ruler to mark the width of your board. Then plane down to the line. Check for squareness from the face side and if the edge isn't quite square, mark it with a soft pencil and take off the high edge with a fine set plane.
Next, mark the required length. If you have more than one or two millimetres to take off, place the board in a vise and champ for one end. This will protect the end grain as you quickly remove the excess. Then finish the cut on the shooting board. The last cut is the opposite face. Use a marking gauge to mark a line parallel to the face side and about one millimetre less than the narrowest point on the board. Work carefully with a series of very gentle strokes otherwise your gauge will follow the grain of the wood. Once you have marked all round, run a 2H pencil down the mark. And then plane down to your lines with the jack plane. Your board is now flat, out of twist and dimensioned. All that remains is to refine the finish with a smoothing plane. Once you've planed both faces and both edges, check your dimensions and move on to the assembly process. Mark the centres for your screws and prick with a bradle. Line up the stop and then drill right through the stop and into the board with a pilot drill. Put a scrap block under the stop and drill the clearance holes. Then countersink to match the size of screw you will be using. Use a little candle wax to lubricate the screw. And drive home with the right size screwdriver.
use a sanding block to remove the aris or sharp edges from the board. Finally, remove any pencil marks with a rubber. By the end of this project, you will be able to pick up the correct plane for most tasks and know why it's the right tool for the job. You also have a useful bench hook.